The Legion of Superheroes Emblem. Let's talk about it. Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Today is a good day, a good day. I don't know what it is in your neck of the woods, but here in the Great White North, we have actually a bright and sunny and warm day. Something we hadn't seen in uh, many months. I should probably be outside enjoying the sun, but uh, right, here we are. So let us take a look at the Legion of Superhero Emblems. Uh, basically, not too long ago, uh, last uh, Thursday, we had a whole bunch of new emblems that have been added to the game. And uh, we had new rewards also to the Legion vendor. I didn't make a video specifically about the, the Legion vendor. Um, I had made a video uh, just the day before announcing that it would happen. Here we are, we're going to make a video about the Legion of Superhero Emblems. And let us start with the NS version of the Legion of Superheroes Emblem. I don't know about you guys, but I love this emblem. When it comes to emblem, this is what I'm talking about. I love it when they give us actual emblems from the, the actual comics or actual emblems from the characters themselves as opposed to some word made up version that looks nothing like uh, the original emblems. Obviously here we have the what is pretty much uh, nicknamed the Lexus version of the Legion, Legion of Superior Emblem. It's pretty much the, the latest emblem they came up with uh, a few years ago, a couple of years ago I think. Um, Personally, I wish they had used the uh, the classic version of the emblem, but you guys know by now, I'm, I'm a classic kind of guy. I like the classic emblems, I like the classic costumes, but despite that, this is an awesome looking emblem. I love this emblem. Heck, I've had it for a while on the on the Cosmic Boy belt. We already had the emblem uh, quite some time ago when we got the Cosmic Boy uh, uh, gear, and uh, sadly, it took way too long for us to be able to get the actual emblem, but today's the day of days. We actually now have the Legion of Superheroes emblem. Uh, you may have noticed it did seem to be a bit bigger than the usual emblems and here with the Stalwart Defender it's even more plus bigger if it makes sense. You can change the color of the emblems the one exception is the Legion of Superheroes emblem. For that one the emblem is color locked. Which it doesn't matter the emblem looks awesome like that. The gold and black uh, emblem looks awesome. And next we have the Enhanced Lightning Lad emblem. Which works uh, perfectly whether you want to create the classic version of the character or the more modern version of the character. Uh, the emblem remains the same, so we can use it either way. And again here I'm using the stalwart defender chest so that we can see it a, bit, a tiny bit bigger. And uh, of course the spindrift shoulders and the cosmic boy back piece. So we have quite a few pieces of gear these days we can, uh, that can support an emblem. But I'm sure we could use more in the future. Uh, let's hope they do add more. And next we have the Cosmic Boy Emblem. Ironically enough, we cannot use an emblem with the Cosmic Boy chest piece, but we do have the Cosmic Boy bike piece that does support an emblem, so we could use the emblem there. And of course, you can always use the Stalwart Defender chest to get a much bigger emblem. And next we have the Enhanced Saturn Girl Emblem. It's a nice looking emblem, although uh, as you can see there is a glitch in the emblem, but they did mention in a live stream that uh, they would try to fix that soon. So they are aware of it, they just didn't get around to fixing it yet. And of course, the bigger version, thanks to the stalwart defender chest. Again, personally, I would have gone with the classic uh, version of the emblem, but uh, this, this emblem is fine. Again, here you can see the glitch even on the back piece. Uh, technically, I guess it is not a Legion of Superhero emblem, but um, Darkseid did play an important part in the Great Darkness Saga, Pretty much the best uh, Legion of Super storylines that was ever made. And it was made like in the, in the 80s. So it is sad that they were not able to make something better uh, since then. But it is pretty much the definitive uh, Legion of Super Hero story. And our friend Darkseid played a big role in it. Yeah, it may be redundant to have the Omega accessory and the Omega emblem. But uh, I love this accessory. So uh, this is the one version where I will be able to show you the regular version. So here you can see even the regular version looks uh, pretty awesome. Uh, sadly, the Stalwart Defender on the bigger body size does create a lot of distortion in the emblem. Uh, the emblem does support the three colors, but uh, it's kind of like the three colors sort of overlap a bit. So they kind of all mush together. You may as well maybe just go for maybe one or two color at most. If you go for well for one color, uh, it's maybe a maybe a bit too much. So you have you should probably add one more color. 
This leader is one main color and the two other colors kind of adds some sort of highlight into it. But as you saw, uh, if you put like three different colors, they all kind of mush into uh, one color, sort of. And where or oh, where can we get those emblems? Let's take a look. Uh, technically, those emblems come from the Legion map. So there's two ways to get those emblems. Uh, the first way is for the NS version of the emblem, you have to defeat the bounties. But the drop rate seems to be uh, pretty high because uh, you don't have to defeat that many bounties to get to get some of those emblems. So if you want to have the enhanced version of the emblems, uh, spam the bounties for a bit and you'll let, you'll get at least a couple of those easily. For the regular version of the emblem, you have to ask your friend the Probe Tech Vendobot 2000. Can I help you into some new gear? Uh, technically, you will also need to play the bounties to be able to get those emblems because you will need some time beacons to be able to purchase them. So, speaking of the speaking of the bounties, So you can see the regular version of the uh, Cosmic Boy Emblem. The regular version of the Legion of Super O Emblem. It's a, it's a nice emblem as well, but it doesn't have the shiny bits uh, that the enhanced version has. The same with the Saturn Girl Emblem. Uh, this one does not seem to be glitched. So if the glitch uh, bothers you, uh, you could get this version of instead of the enhanced version. And last but not least, the Lightning Lad Emblem. And there is also the Omega Emblem here, but the Omega Emblem will require solar credits as opposed to Time Beacon to purchase. Although for the enhanced version of the emblems, there is one other option. I'm sure some of you guessed it by now. The other option is to buy it from the broker. Uh, sadly, you can only purchase, you can only sell and purchase the enhanced version of the emblems on the broker. For the regular version of the emblems, you have no choice. You will have to farm the bounties and purchase those from the vendor. And you can see there, the, uh, the emblem is not that expensive. And you can see the price goes down to about 200,000. If you're a legendary player, there's no reason why you cannot purchase that emblem at that price. You just have to farm the broker a bit. Uh, sadly, obviously, if you are a free-to-play player or premium player, 300,000, uh, you can't afford that. But if you are a legendary player, there's no excuse. You should be able to farm for that much cash. Which reminds me, let's purchase it. Uh, so for the NN's Cosmic Boy, it starts at about 5 million, but it, it goes down pretty quick. Uh, for Saturn Girl, it started at 4.5 million, but it dropped uh, very quickly. And for Lightning Lad... It seems to have started at 4 million and it went down to 50,000. Again, at that price, if you're a legendary player, there's no reason why you cannot uh, play the broker a bit in order to purchase that emblem. And there is the enhanced Omega emblem. You can see here it started at uh, 7 million, but it went down to 200,000. Oh, and in this case, it would seem that you can actually sell and buy the regular version on the broker. I'm not sure who thinks they can sell it for 40 million. Uh, sadly, sometimes there are crazy people. What can you say? And I have to give my usual broker warning. These are the prices on the broker right now. Tomorrow, next month, next week. Heck, later tonight, the prices will be different. So these emblems have been added to the game last Thursday. And they've been added with a bunch of other rewards. I've already covered the uh, 31st century Slimline costumes. I'll try to cover some of the other rewards when I manage to get them. But basically, these are permanent addition to the game. So in theory, next month, next week, next year, you should still be able to purchase those emblems. The one restriction I can see is that at some point, once people are done running the, the bounties, it might become challenging to be able to find a group to be able to run the bounties. Uh, in the future, at some point in the future, it will probably be difficult to find enough people to be able to play the bounties. But uh, right now, people are still playing the Wonderverse bounties, which uh, which I'm a bit surprised by. I would assume that once people have all the, re the rewards, they no longer run the bounties. But there might be enough people that still need the rewards for that to happen. So if you are a big Legion of Superhero fan like I am, you will enjoy those emblems. And heck, even if you are not a Legion fan, those emblems are awesome. Pretty sure you will enjoy them as well. 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point, so if I don't answer your question right away, just search in my videos. Odds are, I already made a video that answered your question. Or click one of the videos that you see on your screen right now. Bye-bye.